I need to address this because just like a lot of other people do in the service dog and disabled community because it is very serious and it is not taken seriously enough and I am tired of people passing on their freaking pet as a service animal when it is highly illegal in the United States. The people that I've seen pass on their emotional support animal or their pet on, on as a service animal pisses me off just like the, a lot of people in the service animal community and here's some stuff you you as a business and individual anyone without a disability or a service dog should know what is a service animal under the ada or that abbreviation is Americans with Disabilities Act of 1990, which is a federal law. A service animal has been defined as a dog that has been individually trained to do work or perform tasks for an individual with a disability. The task performed by the dog must be directly related to the person's disability. Are emotional support, therapy, comfort, or companion animals considered service animals under the ADA? No. These terms are used to describe animals that provide comfort just by being with the person because they have not been trained to perform specific, a specific job or task. Keep that in mind. They do not qualify as service animals under the ADA. Certification and registration. This is another one that the general public needs to be aware of. Does the ADA require that service animals be certified as service animals? No. Covered entitlements may not require documentation such as proof that the animal has been certified, trained or licensed as a service animal, as a condition for entry. These are individuals and organizations that sell service animal certifications or registration documents online. These documents do not convey any rights under the ADA, and the Department of Justice does not recognize them as proof that the dog is a service animal. And that's the reason there is countless videos on YouTube of people being people and service dogs being discriminated against and people asking to requ or require paperwork. And you can't, a you can't ask people for paperwork because, number one, it doesn't exist. And as the ADA and on ADA.gov website that I just read to you, it is, they do not convey any rights, and the, the DOJ does not recognize them as, as proof that the dog is a service animal. And plus, those websites are scams. They're fake. They are not real. The whole reason I made this video is that don't fake a service animal. It is illegal, and you can be charged or fine, fined if your dog attacks another service dog team, like myself, or... And you can go to jail for it, and your dog can be uh, put down or confiscated by animal control if they cause a um, crazy amount of destruction and you don't take um, control of your dog that is, uh, that, is quite, that is clearly a pet in public. So leave your pets at home. It is not okay to fake a service dog. Also, one more thing. It is simply a public safety issue that's not being addressed enough, and... I am tired, and as well as other service dog teams, we are tired of fighting for our rights um, for many freaking years after when the ADA was passed. It is still, discrimination is still happening. There's still selfish people that bring their pets in public and pass on their emotional support animals as service dogs. That is, that is clearly illegal, and people are not aware of it. We are sick, constantly having to fight for our rights for something as simple as to just simply function like everybody else. Anybody else who's not disabled or doesn't know anybody that is, I highly encourage you to just please educate yourself on this stuff. I know it's a lot, but simple things like this, like educating yourself on these laws and stuff, like it goes a long way and it helps. Uh, it gives service dog handlers like myself um, a breath of fresh air when we are treated like everybody else and not discriminated against because discrimination is discrimination and it cannot be little or bigger. It is discrimination is one thing only and we're all fighting for one thing basic rights that needs to be taken more seriously.